Okay, everybody, I'm doing a tour of a um, rental. So you can uh, rent an RV or rent a van and figure out if you want to live this lifestyle or not. And Caroline has graciously said that she would let us check out her rental. Hey, Crystal and everybody. Um, my name is Caroline, and I thought I would share with you this Majestic, which is uh, an RV that I'm renting. Um, I thought you might be interested in the same sort of thing. This is actually rented from Cruise America. It does not have all the landscape artistic um, signage on the side as usual because this is one that's being retired and it is going to be in their sale pool. Um, they, once they, they retire their RVs, they sell them. And so they have, they have a pretty big market share for um, previously enjoyed RVs. So some people out there may be interested in these. I think they run between like ballpark 25 and 35,000 um, and just you know totally unofficial but from what I've seen on their website they tend to you know have a pretty consistent number for sale and they're like maybe between about 125 175 thousand miles on them so you kind of you have to have some idea what you're getting so people may might be interested in an unvarnished look at what one of these is really like um, the chassis is a Ford 350 um, so you know you've got got the classic um, Class C RV with the cab. It's really easy to drive. Um, and how many feet is it? This one's 25 feet long. Okay. Um, and I can give you some of the other specs. It has a 55 gallon fuel tank. It does run on just plain old unleaded fuel. Pull up at any gas station and get it. Um, it has a 40 gallon freshwater tank has a 35 gallon gray water tank it has a 30 gallon black water tank there's a six uh, gallon hot water heater 12 gallons of propane and um, I'm trying to think what other kind of holding facilities it's got I mean it's just it's it's fully equipped very comfortable RV um, so all those kinds of amenities that you would expect in an RV. Awesome. Okay. Let's go take, take a, look a look inside. I do want to okay. take a look inside. <laughs> I am going to leave my shoes so I don't create too much dust and in I here. And I will do the same. Ugh. Wow. It's nice. It's <laughs> it's super spacious. It's super comfortable. I have rented one of these before and um I found them them just great. Um, you've got a large open cab area. You've got a nice bed up top, and whether that's technically a queen or a double, I don't. It looks big to me. Right. Um, and you can, you know, you can use it for. It's big enough for adults. You can put the kids up there if you are traveling alone or as a couple. You've got lots of storage. Right. So that's a nice big space. You've even got some headroom. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, there it's is. got a curtain for a little privacy. Yeah. I like that. They're, they're curtain, and you've got two tiers of curtains. So when you close up at night, you know you can close one that goes oh, in front okay, of the bed. Oh, okay, I see. Yep, and then you've got these that you close for privacy down oh, here. And that also keeps the cold over there. <laughs> yeah, it does help keep the cold over there. I think if I were doing a lot of winter camping, I'd. I'd experiment with other ways to mm -hmm. to try to keep the cold in the cab, but for right now, this does does just fine for privacy right. purposes. Right. Um, and so, you know, you've got your little chair here for when you come in and all your odds and ends. Right. A little box below for like shoes or whatever you want to put down there. Right. And then the dinette. Um, nice. Which is nice. Very nice. Can, and yeah. seat belts everywhere, so as you're traveling, people can be exactly. strapped in. And yep. So you've got you've got seat belts on both sides on the dinette, and you've got on the spare chair here. Okay. So I guess in terms of yeah. legally, you right. can seat seven people with seat belts. Mm -hmm. Nice big window. Yep. A big big window, and the nice thing too in the front is. 
because this is quite open, you get the sunlight from the from the front window, and it's nice and bright um, during the day, right? Which is pleasant. Um, and then moving to the kitchen section, which is sort of in the middle, you've got you know, really a pretty fully equipped kitchen. You've got microwave, you've got your cooktop, which is propane, just fires up real easily. Um, this unit does not have an oven, but um, you've got a, a nice big sink. Um, you actually get things down in there and wash them, and you have a massive refrigerator, which I just wow. love. Um, you know, big, you've got the, I don't have stuff in the bins down here, but you've got bins at the bottom. Bigger than some people's apartment fridges. <laughs> it is, it is. It's definitely yeah. bigger than some apartment fridges, and it's done great at keeping things cold. I've been running it off propane, right. and um, it's been great. I've got an entire, like, 10-pound bag of ice up there and wow. frozen veggies. So, super um, freezer space if you're into your refrigeration. Right. Um, that's been really, really handy. I have one one quick question. Yeah. Do you know if the dinette also turns into a bed? It does. Okay. It definitely does. Okay. Um, so you could technically do um, six people here. Yeah. Two here and two on top and then two in the bed in the back. Yeah. Wow. I think they characterize this as being like a twin size bed. Oh, a twin. But, you know, certainly if you were traveling with kids, right. um, if you had younger children, you could you could get two, two kids on there. Right. Definitely. Nice. And um, good cabinet space. Um, Lots of storage. Yeah, the, the lowers are actually false panels because I think they've got the water heater and the generator uh, behind there. Right, that makes sense. These are huge. Oh, they're so deep. I had six gallons of water in here, and I still had extra space nice. for stuff. Very deep. And I've even still got three gallons of water in here. And there's and this one's this one's a relatively small one. Right. So they're they're big. Right. There's lots of storage, and then you've got some overhead storage too. I mean, you've got it in front of the front seat, over the dinette. Yeah, even over the door. Yep, you've got a little one over the door that would be nice for odds and ends. Right. Like most people in an RV, I have things stored in the microwave. Right. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like I really even need it for this trip. Right. Um, and you've got these nice deep cabinets up here that will nice. quite a bit. Yeah. Great storage. And the floor space in this area is just incredible. We were kind of saying earlier, um, you can have a dance party in here. It's so, so I'm standing <laughs> so in the big. cab area, and that's the floor space. Yeah, it's huge, which I really like it. I'm standing it's between the two front seats, and this is how much floor space we have. It feels very spacious. It does. This is what I really like right here. Yeah. And it's just... No wall. It's open. Yeah. Right. It feels very spacious. And that, is, again, I'm not sure if it's like queen, double, but it's a very spacious bed. Right. Like full-size bed. Um, I love that they didn't put a wall there and just put a curtain. Yeah. That you could yep. close off. So it's got the curtain that would draw around... Um, I haven't even been drawing it, but yeah. you know, for privacy, it comes all the way over to the wall, so right. you've got privacy there, but you can also just leave it open, and it, yeah. the whole place feels nice and right. spacious. Well, I'm thinking, too, in the perspective of a full-timer, is closing that and putting my heater in front of the mm. bathroom door and keeping it warm yeah, <laughs> in that true. section where I'm sleeping at night, you know? You could. That way I'm not heating the whole rig, just where I am. Mm -hmm. bedroom bathroom that's all I need at night you know that's a good point yeah. you definitely could do that like the the built-in heater mm -hmm. and I haven't like I've got a space here where I've been putting my recycling um is right here so you know it's in the middle it kind of right. would get to the whole unit but right. it, it would probably especially if you kind of maybe use a little fan to direct the air right. back right you could get that section pretty warm mm -hmm. close that curtain and you know, cover or even up just and be good. a little buddy, or even a wave yeah. three could fit under the under the bed right there. Yep, something. Yep, a separate little one. You've got so much space. Yeah, there is so much space. And what I was looking at, and it is this kind of funny, but if you were a full timer, this space would be perfect to get one of those little file boxes because I think a lot of times if you have papers and you're trying to right. organize, that's one of the hardest things in yeah. an RV. Yeah, mine's and that in a box heavy. under the bed. Yeah. Yeah, and um, but like you could. 
Mm -hmm. There are tons of things you could put right there, but mm -hmm. that would fit nicely, which is wonderful. And does this bed have storage under it, do you know? Have you tried lifting it or no? So, that's where the basement is. Oh, right. You did show me the basement outside. We'll have to do a... We'll do that maybe yeah. at the end. Oh, yeah. um, because it's massive. It's the size of the whole bed. That's right. I forgot. You did show me that. There's not an interior pass-through, although, you know, I, I think you could probably put one in if you wanted to. Right. Um, but it is a massive amount of storage. Right. Um, you've got a nice long sort of wardrobe there. You've right. got four drawers here um, for sort and you've got kitchen drawers. You know, ki drawers can be a rarity. So mm -hmm. this RV has what six, seven, seven drawers. Mm -hmm. It's got seven drawers, mm -hmm. which is um, really nice. It really is. And then you've got a like a bathroom vanity that has. A spacious medicine cabinet above it that actually I mean I'm gonna show you I've got stuff in there and then there's there's space for storage actually under the sink too and there's quite a bit because it goes all the way back to the wall right. so there's quite a bit of storage there right. and then I can pop open the door and show you the bathroom nice which is just sort of you know shower and toilet I well, like having separate sink because if someone can brush their teeth while somebody else is fixing breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's nice. Um, and you've got the big skylight, which lets lots of light in there. It's, it's very, very bright. Very bright in there. And that's almost a full-size shower. Yeah, it's, it's a big shower. It's really big. So you can you can actually get in there and move your own. Yeah, elbows. exactly. <laughs> not, not trying to be doing the chicken bath. Right. Um, and another thing, when I look up at the ceiling that I wanted to, to mention is, well, there are, there are lots of lights, but there are three different vents in this oh, RV. Okay. There's one in the bathroom, and the bathroom one has a fan. Right. And then there's one over the master bed, and, there's, <laughs> you, um, and then there's one over the front bed as well. So you've got... Oh, nice. Yeah, um, lots of ventilation. Three, Really good. That would give you really good ventilation. Nice. Um, you've got the, of course, the air conditioning in the middle on the roof. Yeah. Which is super. But you've still got. It looks like to me you've still got nice big chunks of of roof space. Right. So if you want to add solar panels, right? I don't think you're going to have any problem. I don't think. And you know, again, obviously, all these upper cabinets tons of space right tons of space and um you know one thing i've always debated is like some of them you see they have just the, you know the windows like but all the windows in the back can be really nice although it's also really nice to prop up on your pillows and just sort of sit there and read yep. and not have to worry about um a window and being cold because right. it can be a little bit cold too that's true and it's it's really comfy i love to just sit in bed and read for a while before I go to sleep right and this is a very comfortable way to do that so that's a plus great well let me just ask you a couple questions yeah. um, okay so Caroline can you just tell me um, is this something you've said you've rented one of these before is this something that you want to do full-time is this something uh, you planning on buying one is that why you rent them this well I guess I'm sort of aspiring still and okay. trying to figure out exactly what I want to do and mm -hmm. you know obviously if you're making a choice like that there are lots of trade-offs right. um, and it, I think everybody struggles with what's what's the best what's the ideal mm -hmm. um, for for a class C yeah, something like this I think I think is great I would definitely consider this okay. if I wanted to go with a class C I've been really happy renting them um, I think they've been very user-friendly for me mm -hmm. for my purposes so I would definitely consider it. I've been real happy with it. Um, I mean, you know, ultimately I might decide to go with something a little, a little smaller right. for more, for having urban options. But I think especially if you're just, you know, if you're traveling, seeing the country more, and in in non-urban areas, this is a really nice option. Mm -hmm. Super comfortable. Super, um, just great to meet all your daily needs. Yeah. Okay. Nice and. Um I wanted to ask you, I can't really ask you the normal van questions because we saw everything, you and, and you have a really real, a real bathroom, so. Yeah, yeah, there's a real bathroom. <laughs> there's no, there's no bathroom question, we know where you use the bathroom. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to know, um, do you, ha do you mind sharing like the cost 
the length of time and the cost or maybe just get the website and I can put it in the um, description box or where people can yeah. find and rent. maybe somebody else wants to rent one and absolutely yeah. I mean that that is one reason I was doing this is because I think it's really helpful to, to you know try things out and figure out how they're actually gonna work for you exactly. before you make some huge financial commitment mm -hmm. um, so these are through cruise America probably everybody has seen them driving up and down the highway they usually have the big landscape pictures on the sides right. um, and so you can just go to the Cruise America website. Got it. Um, you, I, I think they're real flexible on the amount of time you can rent them. I okay. think you can rent as little as one night, you know, or do Ooh. a weekend. Okay. Um, I think they have some deals, like if you do two or three nights or maybe a week, you get an, one part of that free. They'll have discounts. Okay. They have some really, really super discounts if you're willing to do point-to-point -point driving. Um, oh, okay. And so look at their special deals if you're if you're looking, you know, if you need to, right. to watch your budget. Exactly. And that will still give you a chance to, um, you know, to try out the RV, mm -hmm. but at a more um, cost-effective rate. Yeah. And, um, and that's, that's something, I, I just think it's invaluable to really try it out and see how it's going to work for you. Okay. Now, well, with that, have you... Every time you've rented for them, have you rented this size of a vehicle? I have. Okay. They have almost every location also has a smaller one okay. and a larger one. Got it. This is the medium size, the 25 foot. They have okay. a 19 foot okay. that essentially it just it just lobs off the double bed. Gotcha. It kind of reshuffles the kitchen, puts the bathroom right here and the kitchen over here, and it's just about six feet shorter. It's Got 19 it. foot, and then they have. The Super Jumbo, which I'm not sure, it may be like 28 or 31 or something. Okay. Um, and it's a more of a separate bedroom at the back. Okay. Is the difference on it? Um, a f I think there are three cities where they offer a truck camper. Oh. And so, um, for people who might be interested in just testing one of those out, yeah. again, it gives you the option that's to a great it, idea. see how it works for you. Yeah. Um, that's. That's um, I mean, that's one I'd love to try out to kind of yeah. see how the going smaller right. feels. Um, but that's only available in I think three different cities, so you'd have to check their website. Right. So okay, you could get that. And how was it trying to, to drive this? Like when the first time you rented one, like were you nervous? Was it a really big learning curve? Did they do they teach you a little bit before you just go and rent it? Anything yeah. I have to know before I go to rent one and drive it? They show you a they show you a video about the RV as a whole. Okay. It does have a little bit about driving. It has other um, things about just how to use all different aspects of the RV. I know as a refresher, I watched some safety RV driving videos on oh, YouTube, right. mm -hmm. which I did find helpful reminders. I have driven um, RVs and like oh. moving trucks and things before. So I find this is quite easy to drive. Okay. It's really, really very easy to drive. Um, it is bigger than a car and you have do, do have other safety concerns you have right. to be careful about turning you do catch the wind you know it can it can blow you around on the highway and when semis go around you mm -hmm. you know you feel the swoosh mm -hmm. and um and you have to be careful but but it ultimately you know I, I found it quite easy to drive just keeping in mind that you're not driving with a regular passenger right. vehicle yeah right well, is there anything else we need to look at or see? Oh, the basement. We need to go outside and look at the, the basement real quick. huge. You should I take just, a look at that. Yeah. we got to see that because people yeah. got to see where they have that extra odds and ends storage or the tools for the guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, exactly. so here's the basement. It's on the passenger side. Yep, this is the passenger side. So there's a really huge basement under here. Tons and tons of storage. It's the size of the bed, essentially, upstairs. So you've got um, spare tire space for hose and other things and yep. this is a table which is kind of nice yep. um yep it's like a picnic table i'm not gonna try no to yeah it. don't get your fingers but, um, and a spare tire there yep and access from the back Water as well holes here and another door yep the beans so very handy yes and also on the rear bumper there's like a radar system i don't even think you can see it but if you get within four feet of something it's going to start beeping so oh. it's a safety feature nice um you can get some false alarms but it it's nice because driving one of these when you're not accustomed to driving a great big um vehicle right can, that that can be nice for it's safety. a nice feature yeah, yeah. Yep. 
Well, thank you so much for sharing this with us and giving people another alternative to trying out van life or RV life. Um, it's really, really wonderful to know that there's a company that can provide that for people. Or even if they just want to take a vacation and they don't want to have to own their own. <laughs> it's a super fun vacation. It I really like that. is. Thank you yeah. so much, Caroline. Thank you, Crystal. I hope you enjoyed learning about renting RVs through Cruise America. And I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Dose. If you are enjoying the Daily Doses, go on over to Patreon and support them for just a dollar a month. And for just a little bit more, you can get the podcast. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.